Hello, Claudio here for BasicPla.com. In this tutorial, I will introduce you to Mocha for After Effects CS4. Mocha is a great uh, program for tracking purposes, so if you're looking for a professional final look on your composition, Mocha is the right tool to get your work done. I have this clip here, and what I like to do with this is to place another video, another footage, into this uh, light blue rectangle and if you're thinking what I'm not using the motion tracking in After Effects is uh, because when we track in After Effects we track individual pixels, points but in Mocha we track object surfaces so it's much easier to do this in Mocha and also if you see the footage at the beginning the clown getting to the stage with the sign so there's no place right here to uh, create those uh, tracking points in After Effects and uh, if you want to do that, you will spend a lot of time trying to place uh, uh, frame by frame those uh, points. So, um, let me show you how to do that in uh, Mocha for After Effects CS4. Now, once here, we need to create a new project. We can do that by clicking this upper left hand corner button to create a new project here. And under click to import, click this uh, folder icon and uh, browse for the clip. I will choose this one, click next, we will leave this uh, window as it is, click next. Now it's very important that the frame rate of your Mocha project exactly matches the frame rate of uh, Adobe After Effects project that you're going to paste this data into. So I know that uh, my footage has a 25 uh, frame per second so I will change that. Uh, click finish. Now we're going to start our track here in Mocha and as I told you before in Mocha we track surfaces so we need to create a spline to tell Mocha where my surface is and to do that we're going to uh, select this tool the X spline layer tool. We can just uh, create four corner points but realize that it's much much better create three corner points in each corner so click three points in each corner doesn't have to be perfect just create the uh, uh, three points that's it right click on the middle and our spline is is just done okay now uh, if you notice that I start at the middle of this clip is because at the beginning our object is off of the screen and uh, also at the end so what I like to uh, do here is just track forward from this point and uh, then uh, track uh, backwards so with the timeline indicator at the middle in this green point click track forward or track just start and look at this our tracking points are just following the sign almost perfect looks pretty good okay I am just want to show you something right here at the end of this track right here you see those uh, points are tracking the sign even when the sign is out of the screen it's, really, it's a really really good tool now those warnings are just telling you that uh, the track uh, terminate uh, prematurely is because there are still uh, frames but uh, the sign is not on view so click OK, click OK then take the timeline put it in the middle where we start and track backwards. Now I'm going to pause this tutorial and I will see you in one second. Okay, we're done with the track. Click OK on those warnings and if you uh, preview the clip, this is a really good uh, tracking. But now uh, we're going to refine the tracking Mocha for After Effects CS4. The next step is to tell Mocha what part of this sign we're going to export to After Effects 
and uh, we do that by creating a surface so go to the view controls and uh, click on surface um, to get a better view just click on the tool uh, zoom view and drag your mouse upward it's okay as you see here these are the points that we're going to export to Adobe After Effects so we can rearrange these lines right there is looks pretty good we can use the view at the left and this one okay let's see the view the preview okay I think we're ready to export but if you see some um, gaps like uh, this one right here you can just go to the adjust track and uh, choose whatever corner is not aligned and click on it and just move it back to the perfect score point and uh, now you will see that there's a keyframe and a timeline so let's check if there's another one I don't think it's, it's really good okay we're going to move it back again a little some corner just keep going back yeah, forward now it looks pretty good the final step is to export this back to After Effects and uh, we do that by going to export tracking data right here click the bottom and uh, we have uh, two options we're going to uh, get the corner pin data you can just copy to the clipboard and then paste it back in After Effects but I'm going to uh, show you a script that uh, will simplify the exporting uh, data from uh, Mocha to After Effects so to do that we need to save this I will save it on my desktop with the uh, full name layer 1 and now we're going back to Adobe After Effects Back in Adobe After Effects CS4, we just need to paste or import our tracking data from Mocha into our composition. And I have a tip to simplify this process. Uh, go to this website, ascript.com backslash Mocha import, and they have this uh, Mocha import script. It's completely free. So don't be afraid for this uh, add to cart button right here because when you get inside you can just change uh, the amount for zero update the card check out fill uh, your name last name and email and uh, I'm not going to click this button because I have already this script and uh, when you click on it you will be uh, having a copy the mocha import script then go to your hard drive where your Adobe folder is my case this one Adobe Adobe After Effects go inside the support files folder then to the scripts folder maybe you don't have this script UI panels if you don't have this folder you have to create it okay then go inside and paste your mocha import JavaScript close it restart your Adobe After Effects doing that go to window and you will see this mocha import javascript click on it and here it is mocha import the uh, script select the footage that you want to place inside our sign and um, change the default for the corner pin selected then click on the load from text file you have to now look for the file that you just export from Mocha minus this one then apply it and here it is we have our sign track it you see here it is uh, kind of not centered but uh, just go to the transform and this one the anchor point just move it 
down a little like that, it's pretty good. Okay, let's make a run preview to see what we have here. There it is. Okay guys, I hope you like this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. My name is Claudio for basicsbot.com.